Hi, it's Marvin. So Amazon are getting rid of their free hiring reward insurance for Amazon Flex drivers. So ever since Flex started, they've supplied hiring reward insurance for all their Flex drivers while you have parcels in your car which means you didn't have to have extra hiring ward insurance, although you did need business insurance to cover you when you went to different depots. So Amazon are getting rid of this from the 31st of October 2022. So Halloween is the end of the free insurance. This means that you have to get your own hire and reward insurance. So if you go into the Amazon Flex app, go into settings and then personal information, there's a new tab at the top that says insurance. If you press on that, it will give you details of the insurance that you need. It also has um, links to three different suppliers. Amazon have teamed up with Insure. If you press on their logo rather than the continue down the bottom, then it will take you to a new web page where you can get a quote for their Amazon Flex pay as you go insurance. They advertise from 22p, um, nobody in the WhatsApp groups that I'm in have managed to get one that low. I've seen some as low as 56p for an hour for comprehensive. Mine came out at 72p, that's because I had an accident a couple of years ago. Um, but generally it seems to be quite good compared to things like Zego, which mine comes out at 80p an hour, uh, even though I don't use it at the moment. So the current Amazon insurance runs out on the 1st of, 1st of October. So when you do a quote, it should automatically start from the 1st of November. It will give you a quote based on your car and your um, age and your um, convictions or accidents. And then if you accept it, you have to fill up your wallet. So you, you top it up to start with. And then um, it also sets a threshold where it will re-top up when it gets too low. And it's supposed to cover you while you're delivering for Amazon. But it also says something about driving to the depot. We'll have to see what that's all about when it actually starts working. One, of, one thing about the information from Insure is it says that you only need social, domestic and pleasure insurance. Whereas in the past, they've asked you to have um, business insurance to cover you to the depots. So it seems like they may be covering you when you are traveling to the depot. So this may mean that you'll have a reduction in your normal insurance if you don't need business insurance and you are paying extra for it. But go and get your quote now, see what it comes up with. If you have any problems, you might want to ring up Insure. Uh, a couple of our drivers have needed to talk to them to get their quotes um, and then the other two are DCL and Zego that you can look at as well so I guess if you do only do a few hours of Amazon flex a week or a month then the pay as you go probably be quite good for you um, if you do a lot of flex and other things as well then you may want to get Zego or something else that covers you for food deliveries and things as well and you can also get monthly and yearly versions of those too so go and get your quote now see what it comes up with and then you can decide which insurer you're going to use instead of the free amazon one if you like these tips please give me a thumbs up and subscribe see you again soon bye <laughs>